Hey friends, Kim asked me to take a turn today. So I uh, just want to give you an update. We're okay. Um, there was, it sounds like a radar was just hit in our region. Um, we all heard it, kind of sounded like uh, thunder. Uh, but yeah, so there's always something new happening. But what's most important is today under the wide awake roof, we've got about 50 friends with us moms and their adult children with disabilities, our boys, um, the team, as well as uh, we were able to help a, um, a Bible school, a bunch of university students in Kyiv that were really close to uh, a lot of the fighting in Kyiv last night. And they got to us last night before the bridges were blown out. And uh, they're with us and we just fed them, prayed with them, uh, sang a lot and uh, send them to bed. And today it's been chores, cutting wood, just doing everything we can um, to, to keep the homestead running and keep people busy. Work is good therapy. Uh, so thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you for being with us um, along the journey. We'll give you more information tomorrow, but uh, it's just a, a lot going on. So, um, but we wanted to give you an update and thank you so much for your support. Everybody, you're asking how you can help, firstly, pray secondly just donate money uh when we don't have to think about funds uh it helps us it frees us up to uh to just focus on the people we're caring for and uh we've just decided we're not uh, we're not turning anyone away that uh, doesn't have options um and we're trusting that we're going to have what we need uh, we're right on the highway heading west and so it's a great location to for people that will pop in and we can uh help them, pray with them, care for them a bit, feed them, and either send them on their way or give them a place to sleep. So right now, um, we're picking up uh, Vada and Maxim and her husband. Um, Maxim is one of our boys. Uh, he's with us a couple times a week, and I actually have guardianship of him when his parents can no longer care for him. Um, but with what's going on and how things are moving, we're bringing him out to the homestead because it's safer out here away from the city. Um, our whole area, our whole city is surrounded by volunteers and army. A lot of, a lot of Ukrainian people are just stepping up and helping out. Every line for volunteering in the service was just full yesterday. And so, um, just a few words on that. Day one, everybody was shocked. The whole world was shocked. They didn't even believe it. Well, couldn't even believe it. Day two, we, we watched our Ukrainian brothers and sisters like come out of shock and, and be angry and start thinking, what do we do? Day three, which was yesterday, we saw the lines full. Grandmas and grandpas filling bags of sand, setting up um, blockades. Uh, everybody signing up, either getting a gun to take home to protect their family and their neighborhood or signing up to serve in the in the military um, Ukrainians just are mobilizing to protect their country so stand with us speak with your representatives uh, your political um, representatives whoever is in your area that you can speak to to get government involved to help here uh, please do that we're staying on the ground as long as we can be here safely because there's people that that need support and that's what God's asked us to do and so we're going to do it and we're going to trust that uh, we're going to have what we need. So thank you for being with us. Thank you for praying and um, take care. Bye.